off to work I go to go create some magic. Good morning. Today is day one of my training for my role with the Disney College program. Hey everyone, so it is like 8.45ish, maybe a few minutes after, but I am walking up to the cast services building right now to start my first day on the job. And I'm so excited, I'm about to get hit by a car, so that's not fun. But I'm so excited because today is my first like official day of training for my role. And so on Friday I had traditions and today is Tuesday the 17th. And so today is when I have like my actual like job, like role specific orientation, training, class, all that kind of stuff. I get to learn about my role. Hopefully I get my costume and all of that great stuff. There's Disney Springs right over there in the background. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's like right. I can't, why can't I? It's back there somewhere. I don't know why that was really difficult for me, but I'm about to walk in, so I will talk to you guys later. I just got my costumes, yay. All right, okay. Hey guys, so it's a lot, it's a lot later now. It's literally 11.15 p.m. So it's been a long time since I have chatted with you guys today, but today was my very first day after traditions. And so I was scheduled from nine to one today and I ended up only being there from nine to 12. So I was there for three hours and it was basically just a class about my home location, which is Disney Springs, like I said before. And it was just like a tour of springs and going over like the history behind it and all of that great stuff. We did do costuming today so I did get my costume and then tomorrow is my first on-the-job training so tomorrow I will get to wear my costume and actually get trained in my role specific like training process so I said that earlier as I was walking in that today was like my role specific class and everything but it wasn't today was just like new people joining the Disney Springs team so it was like very general about Disney Springs and then tomorrow starts my actual on-the-job like role specific training. So I am super, super excited tomorrow. I cannot wait to wear my cute little costume and like get all ready and go meet my trainers and like actually get started. But yeah, so that was pretty much it for today. So that was that. It was lots of fun. I actually learned a lot about Disney Springs that I never knew, like a bunch of like little tidbits of info and like all these cool little fun facts. So gotta love that. So yeah, that's it for tonight and i'll see you guys tomorrow for my first on the job training shift good morning everyone so it is like 8 30 on wednesday morning and today is my first on the job training shift i have to leave in about an hour so i woke up at like 7 30 and for the past like hour or so i've been writing a few cards out because my mom is leaving to go back home to New Jersey tomorrow and so I have a few thank yous to give to like some of my family back home because there were just a few people that were like dog sitting my little Cody, my little dog back home that is going to be staying with my mom while I'm away and then also just people that contributed and like helping us get here to Florida so I just had some thank yous and like little gifts to put together and so that is what I was doing. Now I'm about to eat some cereal. Hello. So gotta stay healthy, you gotta eat that breakfast. And today my shift is from 10 to 6.30. So yeah, I am excited. This is the first like long work day I've had in a really, really long time. I used to work all the time before COVID. And then after that, it was like nothing. So now I am like finally officially back to work, a working woman. I am so excited. To go back to work first of all i am so excited to start working for disney i can't wait but yeah so i'm gonna eat my cereal and get ready and then maybe i'll show you guys my costume Ooh. all right guys so i'm about to go to work here is my costume so cute right so i'm about to leave it's 9 25 please also do not mind this the bedroom is literally like one of the only spaces in this apartment that's not done yet so i apologize but yeah i'm about to go to work it's 9 25 and i have to be in at 10 and i'm only like literally 10 minutes away so we're fine but yeah here is my costume how cute 
Okay, off to work I go to go create some magic. Oh, and the last note that I wanted to make is being in this uniform, I went to Catholic school my whole life, so I feel like it's the first day of school. Like, if you went to Catholic school, then you probably know what I mean when you get that, like, fresh new uniform, and it's the first day of school, and you put it on, you're like, oh, hey. That's how I feel right now. So, now, I'm really off. <laughs> I just got to work and it is 9.48, so I'm going to start walking up in just a minute or so and I'm really, really excited. I just, I'm like getting emotional, like I was listening to Disney music on the way here and I was just getting like really emotional about everything because I'm finally like living out my dream. Like it doesn't matter to me if I am parking, if I'm custodial, if I'm quick service, if I'm entertainment, if I'm merchandise, it doesn't matter to me. Like I truly believe that every role is able and capable of making magic. And so because of that, I am just so excited. And I just, I, I can't believe that I'm finally getting to live out my dream. I, I don't know. I'm like getting emotional thinking about it because this has been such a long time coming and it's finally happening and I'm just so over the moon excited. Like I am just absolutely thrilled that I'm getting to do this. So I'm going to throw my hair up into like a bun and then head into work and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, this lighting is so bad. I'm sorry. Ah, there's so many shadows. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll make this quick. I just got out of work and it is like, I got done at 6.30, so I just walked back to my car, so it's like 6.35. Oh, let me take this off, why am I still wearing this? I'm so hot. Um, yeah, it was a good shift. I can talk to you guys about it more when I get back to my apartment just because this lighting is absolutely horrendous, so I am so sorry, but I did just get out. I got my little uh, parking vest, but this one is like, too big so I need to uh, get a smaller size but oh oh my gosh look I'm officially earning my ears ah, so cute so I wear that until I'm done my training and then yeah I take it off I remove it and then I officially earned my ears and we're all good so I'm actually going to meet my family right now because they just came uh, a few of my family just came to pick my mom up actually to drive her back to New Jersey so they are actually at Springs right now so I'm going to drive over to the orange garage so I can meet up with them and then yeah when I get back tonight then I will talk to you guys about my whole day hey guys so um, it's really late now it's like 11 30 at night and I am exhausted so I just actually got back home from Disney Springs with my family <laughs> so much fun and it was really great to be able to spend some time with them because they are actually leaving at like 1 a.m. so in like an hour and a half so it was really nice to be able to just see them for the short time that they were here I mean my mom's been here for a while but the rest of my family that came to pick her up they literally just got in today and they're leaving in you know a little bit so it was really great to see them um, but since I was at Disney Springs for a while I am honestly exhausted right now, so I will talk to you guys about uh, how my day went today, probably some point tomorrow. I don't go into work till 3.30 tomorrow, so I have some time. And yeah, so that is it for tonight. I'm sorry, it's just been a lot of me talking, but um, I can't really film myself on the job. So yeah, that is it for right now, and good night. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. So it is, well, I don't even know what today is, to be honest. Thursday, I think? Yeah, Thursday. And uh, I told you guys I would let you know about yesterday. Um, but first, really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys that I just picked up myself at Mission Pass to get into the park. So I'm at Flamingo. Flamingo's right there in the background somewhere. Like I said a billion times, I don't live at Flamingo. So I drove over here this morning to go pick it up. And I'm just like thrilled that I can find get into the parks now so pretty much yesterday was just me getting acquainted with like the actual role everything that all like the different positions um what i could actually actually 
actually, I like, swear sometimes I just cannot speak, what I will actually be doing as parking and then also just kind of going over more safety guidelines, just all of like the in-depth things about what parking actually is. So today I have to be in work at 3.30 and so today is going to be all about the equipment and like different things that I could be using on the job. So yeah, that was pretty much it for yesterday. My trainer was really nice, he was funny and he was really chill so it was awesome just to have someone that made me feel like super relaxed because I was of course nervous going into it so having someone that was just confident in their role and that made me feel at ease was really really nice because it just took away a lot of my nerves and just made me feel really good about going into this role so that was pretty much it for yesterday and now I have my self admission pass and I'm going to go ahead and get that signed up into my Disney experience so that I can try to make reservations to go into the parks like tomorrow <laughs> but I'm gonna go okay, go ahead and get that set up into my Disney experience app so that I can get it all situated and now I'm just like I'm settling into becoming a cast member and it's just wild so yeah that was it that was my experience yesterday and of course i will keep you guys updated on what happens today hello everyone so i just got home from work and it is like i don't even know what time it is right now it's like 12 30 like midnight you know somewhere around there and i am going to eat some dinner so Chandler, my fiance, made some vegan pasta and meatballs. So I'm gonna eat some of that. So today was my day two of training and then um, tomorrow is like my final day of training, which is my assessment, which I'm so excited for. I'm excited because, I mean, hopefully I pass, but once I do pass, then I am like officially on the job and working and it's not just you know like training anymore and like doing all of the the learning portion so i'm excited to get out there and to actually start doing the job and to interact with guests and i think that a, a common misconception or not even really misconception but like a stereotype really about parking is that you don't get to interact with guests and that's true in a lot of ways because you're not um you know like guest facing a lot of the time you're outside working uh, you know by yourself your your people that you're working with um, really help to make your experience fun and memorable however sorry I'm putting the microwave on however um, with that being said you do still get to see guests and talk to guests and you are still helping them and like there are still ways that you can make magic like if that is something that you are striving to do so I know that coming into it like that was something that was really important to me was to like make sure that I was making magic and still giving the guests like a really great experience and so that is something that I know that I'm still out to do and from what I've seen so far just like watching people do the job I can definitely say that it is something that I will be able to do it's just you know you don't have as many opportunities as if you were you know, working a quick service stand in Magic Kingdom. You know, you're not gonna be face to face with guests as often, you know, or as frequent as that. However, it's still possible. So I'm excited to like officially be on the job and just, you know, get to working. But the last two training days have been really great. And tomorrow, like I said, is my assessment. And now that I have my self-admission pass, like I showed you guys, I'm so excited to be able to go to the parks and start park vlogging. Like, hello, I'm so pumped. I know that this video has been a lot of just me talking, but I just wanted to kind of share my experience and like my first week on the job as a CP and in my parking role. So yeah, that's it for tonight. Like I said, I'm gonna eat really quickly. I need to shower as well because it, it's, at first of all, I'm just nasty and like, I just don't want to smell so I need to shower but like also being outside in the heat for eight hours is brutal so I definitely need to shower because I am sweaty and smelly and so gross and then I'm definitely going to call it a night and go to sleep so I will see you guys tomorrow for my assessment and I hope that you guys are enjoying this so far hey guys so at some point I will do a day in a day in the life vlog of like my role and being in the college program etc by the way, yeah, I look like this, so I'm sorry, but um, I wanted to quickly show you guys like what I'm packing for lunch in case anybody cares. So we have a PB&J sandwich, and then I have a little container of blueberries and a little container of carrots. And then 
water. I just wanted to quickly show you guys that. I have to leave for work in like 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna go quickly put my uh, costume on and then head out. But I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on something other than like what actually happened at work and just show you guys like a little tidbit. So this is, again, what I brought, my water, and then this is my bag. So this is just like the bag that I bring that I keep all of my stuff in. So I'm gonna go get dressed and then today, like I said, is my assessment day. Hi friends, so I just got home from day three of training. I passed my assessment, so woohoo! I'm officially a Disney Springs parking cast member. Let's go. I, I'm so tired, I can't even think of my words right now, truly. Like I said, I'm home now and since I officially passed my assessment, next step is taking off my little earning my ears tag this right here just shows that i that i i'm telling you i can't speak that i was in training okay i was earning my ears becoming an official cast member now i am an official cast member so i'm going to remove my earning my ears tag i'm so nervous because like then i actually have to be on my own tomorrow when i go to work but i'm excited it's all gonna go good i'm doing good Everything went well, I passed my assessments, so we're we're solid. Actually, before I do that, I need you to take a picture of me with my earring my ears tag because I haven't gotten a picture with it yet. So hold on. Here I go. <gasps> Yay! And now I am truly an official cast member of Walt Disney World. Yay! Hey friends, so I'm dying right now, first of all, because I'm in long sleeves and I don't know what possessed me to wear long sleeves today because it is literally 101 degrees, but it's fine. I'm already in the car, nothing I can do about it now. Today I have to be in work at four, it's like 12 o'clock, so I am going to go to Cast Connection right now. If you don't know what that is, it's pretty much just a store for cast members. They sell like all different types of merchandise and stuff, and it's discounted. So I'm gonna go there and see if there's anything that I can get. I don't wanna spend too much money, but it might be tempting, so we'll see. And I'm super excited. I've always, this is like one of the things that I've always dreamt about as a cast member, is getting to go to Cast Connection. So I'm super excited that I'm finally getting to be able to go. And then yeah, I'm gonna come home and just get dressed. I already like showered and did all of that. I'm gonna run to Cast Connection and then if I get anything, then of course I will show you guys what I get. Okay, so I'm back home and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff. So I did go to Dollar Tree, got a few things, not that anybody asked, but a spatula and a ladle and I got some gum. And then I also got let me show you guys how cute these are. I got these little pumpkins for the fall. They're like these little like gold pumpkins. I got two of them. And then I also got these pumpkins that have our initials. So this one has an M for my name. And then I also got one that has a C on it for Chandler's name. Not that it has anything to do with Disney, but I just thought it was cute. So I figured I would show it to you guys. And then these are the sunglasses that I got. So pretty simple, there you go, nice and easy. Now, what everyone actually cares about is what I got at Cast Connection. So, went to Cast Connection. I didn't get much, but I got enough to show you guys something. So I got a little Rice Krispie treat. Actually, I got two Rice Krispie treats and it's so hot that these are starting to melt. So I'm gonna go throw these in the fridge, but I did get two little Rice Krispie treats. And then if you couldn't tell, they are like shaped like Mickey and everything. I don't know if I made that clear. I also got this little autograph book. I know characters aren't actually meeting right now, but I just thought that this was so cute because one of my bucket list items for the DCP was to get every character to sign. I wanted to get a storybook and have every character sign next to their story, but I just, I, I never did. And like I said, characters aren't even meeting right now, but I figured that I would get this because it was cheap enough for me to pick up. And then when characters do start meeting again, then at least I have something. 
I also got this bracelet, which is the little orange bird. So this is just like seen in a few different places. However, I don't even care about any of the other places. The only place I care about that you can see this at is at Disney Springs. There is a wall that has the orange bird on it and my home location is Disney Springs. So this is like one of the only things I think that I can relate back to Springs. There's not really any like Springs merchandise. So this is one of the things that like pops into my head when I think of Disney Springs is, you know, that mural with the orange bird on it. So, yep, there we go. That's just a little nod to my home location. And then all the rest of the stuff is also Alex Nani bracelets. So the other one that I got, you can't really see in here, but it is this bracelet and it just says Mickey. I don't know if, you, if it's focusing, if you can really see it, but it just says the original Mickey Mouse and it's just a silver Alex and Ani with like his little red bottoms. And then I also got this one, which I don't know if you'll be able to see again, but it's just a little Minnie Mouse. I don't think it's focusing, but hopefully you guys can like get the gist of what it looks like. And then the last one that I got is this Toy Story one with Woody and Buzz and it says, you've got a friend in me. So they had a big Alex and Ani special going on. So that's why I picked up four of those. And yeah, so that was everything that I've gotten so far from Cast Connections. And that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna go get ready for work. It's like 2.08, I have to leave in about an hour and a half-ish, a little less than that. So I'm just going to relax for like a little bit and then get ready for work. And then I have to work until 12.30, so like midnight 30. So like I said, I'm gonna go start getting ready for work in a little bit. And today is actually my first day on the job by myself now that I passed my assessment yesterday. I'm a little nervous because obviously I've never done the role by myself, but I think I got it down. I think I'm ready to go and I'm super excited. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. So <laughs> we came to Craft and Common. I have to be in work at three today. Let's see if Tani likes it. Is it good? I only got pretzel. <laughs> I hope you liked it. The sauce is good. The sauce is good? I didn't vlog at all last night because I was exhausted, but good morning. We're at yeah, I've been vlogging. So this is my coffee. I tried a different one this time. I got the wild child. Tanny got the dunes. They both, oh, this smell, I can smell the orange. It smells so good. But yeah, like I was saying, I didn't vlog last night because I was exhausted, but good morning. We came to Craft and Common. I'm getting some breakfast before I have to go to work. And bon appetit, let's enjoy. Hello again, friends. So I am off of my last shift of my very first week of the Disney College program. So today I worked from three to nine and it's a little bit later now. It's like 11.30 or so, might be closer to 12 at this point. I'm not even too sure. But I just wanted to hop on and give you guys kind of a conclusion of the week. So like I said, I didn't vlog anything last night from what I remember at least, just because I was extremely tired by the time I got home and went to bed and everything. But I did wanna say that last night I had the really fun opportunity to be able to create a kind of small little magical moment for a little girl and her family. So when you are in a role like parking, there can sometimes be just the kind of stereotype or maybe misconception that you don't really get to create magic or that you don't get that guest interaction. But going into my role, I was really determined to still be able to make magic and allow guests to have just like the most amazing trip and you know experience possible so i was of course working in parking and i had my light wand because it was nighttime and so i was working in the crosswalk where i was stopping cars and letting families cross that whole deal so this little girl comes up and she sees the light wand and of course she's excited by it because it's you know a glowing wand so of course that's mesmerizing to little kids so her eyes light up when she sees it and she's looking and she's so excited about it. So she walks over to me and she says, I'll hold it, I'll hold it. So I look at her and I say, well, I'll hold it, but it is a magic wand. I said, watch. So I saw that a car was going to be com coming forward that I was gonna have to stop. So I walked out and I did my thing. I stopped them with the wand. I said, this is a magic wand that makes the cars stop just for you, princess. And her eyes lit up and was like, oh, oh my gosh. You know, she was so excited by it. And it was such a simple little thing. It was literally just me 
doing what I was already doing, but just by giving that extra little touch really made the family and really made the little girl in particular's day. So yeah, it was just really special and I wanted to share it and it was something so simple, but it just stuck with me because it just felt really special and really exciting because I was so excited to be able to give that little girl a special and fun little magical moment from their day. So that was my whole week. Today was good. Yesterday and today were my two days that I was working by myself. The other days, like I have mentioned throughout this week, were training. And then of course my class was the very first day. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's been great so far. I'm getting the hang of it now. So everything has been going really, really well. And I'm excited to keep going. It's honestly a really fun and great role. I've met a lot of people and I've had a lot of really great guest interactions. So it's been so much fun so far. So I know this video has just been a lot of me talking to you guys. However, tomorrow, Monday, I am going to the Magic Kingdom and Epcot for the very first time as a cast member. It is going to be the first time that I'm going into any of the parks as an official cast member. So I'm super excited to be able to do that and of course to take you guys along with me on that journey so if you guys are interested in seeing that then be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch that video as soon as it comes out but for now thank you guys so much for watching this video and before i go the last thing i wanted to say that's been really cool is that lately i've been kind of attaching my dad passed away about 10 years ago i've been attaching butterflies to him for some reason like whenever i see butterflies around I just know that things are going to be okay. And I've seen so many butterflies these last few days at work flying by. It has been absolutely incredible. That and three ladybugs landed on me at three separate times today. And I hear ladybugs are also pretty good luck. So I just wanted to say that because it was, you know, just kind of heartwarming. It just seemed like little things of just to everything being okay. So yeah, that was it. But thank you guys again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Please be sure and feel free to stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys. I hope that you all have a beautiful and wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Stay blessed.